Coach, Ohio State at Notre Dame, big, big game. Monster game. Both coaches are going to want to try to get their best players the ball. What was your philosophy about getting your best players the ball? Well, it changed dramatically in late 90s. It might have been 99 or 2000 when I was, ironically, the uh, wide receiver coach at Notre Dame. And we are playing um, Nebraska. Nebraska was number one in the country. Eric Crouch was the quarterback. A big game, obviously. And uh, at Notre Dame Stadium, we lose the game right at the end. And remember, I'm the wide receiver coach, and we go in the locker room, you walk up those stairs to that uh, great locker room at Notre Dame, and I walk in, everyone's devastated. And I walk over to my position players, I'm the receiver coach, and they are torn apart, as you can imagine. Right. And there's a kid named David Gibbons, not only the best receiver, but the best player on our football team. Ended up being a heck of an NFL player. And I walk over and try to console them, you know, they're crying, and I mean, devastated, you've been there. And David Gibbons is just really, almost uncontrollably sobbing and and I put my eyes to David you know we got a lot of football left I'm trying to calm this thing down and he finally looks at me he goes coach you understand I said what and he said I did not touch the ball today right. and he wasn't saying it to be selfish he was saying it I wanted to help you know you want to help our team right, win right. you practice your whole life for that moment and that forever impacted me as far as a play caller and as far as a head coach I became head coach I believe the next year and I would always challenge our staff if you're on my staff chair, I'd say the number one responsibility you have is the health and safety of your players, by far. Number two, you get your best players a ball. If it's defense, get them in the right position. But we as coaches, that's our job. If your best player is your quarterback, it happens organically. It happens. The ball snapped to him every snap, so don't, I don't worry about that. Number two, if it's a running back, Zeke Elliott's your best player, it's easy. Turn the ball, hand it off. It gets a little complicated when it's a receiver. A lot of people say, just throw him the ball. You don't really understand football if you're saying that. So we had to get creative, and we came up with three, three ways over the years to get your best player. If he's a receiver, get your best player the ball. Coach, let's take a look at how Ohio State used Marvin Harrison Jr. last week. So here he is lined up at the bottom of the screen, and the creative ways he, over the years was the easiest way is to hand him the freaking ball. Right. And it takes a lot of practice because receivers are not used to hand them, taking handoffs. Uh, but obviously this is the first half last week against Western Kentucky. Remember, the first two games, he didn't get the ball enough. And as they're getting ready for Notre right. Dame, they're, they're getting this, this uh, racehorse ready. So they handle the ball, everybody blocks the edge, and you got the best possible scenario. That's a great player in space. The receivers love the ball in their hands because now their vision comes, and he's got great vision as well. Coach, what's the second way? Okay, the second creative way to get a receiver the ball is a quick screen. You just look out here, Marvin Harrison's at the bottom of the screen. You got Cade Stover, the tight end, is going to motion out for an extra blocker. This is well blocked wow. on the edge. He pins yep. him. And it's like a punt return for Marvin. Punt return is, means it's a two way go. You do what you got to do to get yardage. Your best athlete, the best player in America, ball in his hand, great things happen. And coach, the third way to get him the ball. Take a shot, man, and my favorite. And uh, this is, you can see Marvin Harrison Jr at the bottom here against a lesser opponent. So it's second quarter and they've reached a point where they've given the ball and a run. They gave him on a quick screen, let's get another, and right. take the shot. And it's actually relatively simple. There's not a lot of reading going on here. I used to grab the quarterback and say, listen, take three steps, put your back foot in the ground, you throw this sucker as far <laughs> as you can. And they'd all kind of laugh and have fun with it because they knew this was an opportunity for a great athlete. You know one of the hardest skills to do? A defensive back covering, especially a player like this, and try to find the right. ball. Right. Where receiver, it's, that's all they do. You know, they're, they're naturally at it. So the quarterback's told, put your back foot on the ground. McCord here just launches it down the field. Best player in the country. Great things happen. Great players in space. You know, the other reality, Jerry, is of this best player touching the ball is at the Ohio State's, Penn State's, Notre Dame's, you're recruiting elite, elite players, players that have careers in football. Millions, you know, this is their livelihood. Right. You have an obligation to what? Get them the ball. More times they touch a the ball, the draft status goes up. There's also Heisman candidates. You know, we've had plenty of them. And there's also the recruiting factor. When you go recruit someone, hey, this quarterback has this many touchdowns. Great story. JT Barrett, a few years ago, he had six touchdown passes in the first half. It was against a lesser opponent. It wasn't to run up the score. Right. It was because I felt I wanted JT Barrett to be in New York for the Heisman show. And how do you get there? Stats. Get him as many touches, get as many touchdown passes. So you do have an obligation. Number one is to win. Number two is that player has got a career. You have an obligation. There's Heisman's All-American Awards. They're also entitled to that. And number three, recruiting. Every recruit's watching and they're looking at the staff. Right, no doubt.